It's a binge. Come play. Sure. Okay, bye. My understanding of D&D is that the GM has the power to make the quest a heist. But players control whether the background music for this heist will be the Pink Panther theme, the Mission Impossible theme, or the Benny Hill theme. Okay. Alternate universe where I literally just go to school forever, but for free. So I can just learn about art and literature and history and languages for a hundred years. No job skills, no credit requirements, no student loans. Just learning. That sounds cool and terrifying all at once. Treat spiders the way you want to be treated. Ah, so killed without hesitation. A person I just met said, yeah, I grew up loving the Percy Jackson books, and I accidentally responded, so you're gay. And he was, in fact, gay. But nobody's ever said it that bluntly before, but yeah. Today I was getting my hair cut, and I pulled up the picture to show the very nice lady cutting my hair, and she looked at it and said, um, are you sure you're showing me the right picture? And I looked down at my phone, and I was showing her this. Whoops. In my doctor's office, there is a giraffe with the Pringles guy's head. What? Is that a cup wearing pants? Yes. Is that? Is that Majora's Mask in the mirror? Oh my god, it keeps getting worse! I want emo versions of idioms. Like instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. Well, this isn't my first Black Parade. You know what's dumb? The concept of treating adolescents like children throughout the entirety of their teenage years, and then at around age 17, pull a complete 180, and expect them to decide within the next couple of years what they want to do with the rest of their lives. You put it into words. Mango. Mangoing. 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 Speaking of which, I hope all my mutuals know that you can just go on down to the hardware store and just buy a big old bag of dried blood. Mmm, forbidden square. Refuse to differentiate between important and unimportant information in your scene descriptions. Looking around the road streets, you see a few burned out houses, various bits of rubble, 4,000 demons pointing swords at you, a pile of knocked over street signs, and a stray cat. All your players immediately. I pet the cat! <sighs> the 4,000 demons immediately lower their blades, as you have successfully shown proper tribute to she who walks the shadows, the bitter talon, the queen of the dark pit. Mrs. Flufferbutt. Today I learned professional clowns who want to patent their look can paint their likeness on an egg and have them stored in the clown gallery in East London. The egg registry acts as informal copyright that protects a clown from having their look stolen by a copycat. A tiny glimpse into the topsy-turvy world of clown society. Covertly adds this to my ever-growing list of things I thought Terry Pratchett made up for his fantasy world are actually real things. The bourgeoisie is a turquoise bourgeois. If not, then the world is lost on me. What the fuck is a bourgeois? This. Wow. Delicious. Today's aesthetic. Keeping the same tab open in your browser for three solid weeks because you're definitely going to get around to reading and or acting on whatever's in that any minute now. Don't call me out like this. Okay, some of you motherfuckers have been submitting my post to PMC Moore's Discord. Oh, shit. I'm going to take this awesome opportunity to make his life a living hell. <clears throat> Lead rhymes with read, and lead rhymes with red. But read most definitely doesn't rhyme with lead, and lead doesn't rhyme with red. My god, why? Crabs are so gentle. They can be so kind. Their claws? Precise little things. So careful in the sand. So careful with food. They do what they must to live, and wave their claws to express their joy to the world for giving so much to them. For giving such kindness to these creatures known as crabs. Please, be gentle to crabs. I was on a new sleep medication last night. But you were right. Roy Mustang, after emotionally manipulating an 11-year-old child into joining the military. <laughs> I'm so smart, he'll join for sure. Edward, arriving at his office a year later with the intention to break as many laws as possible. I'm here to make your life hell, little man. It's a beautiful day, Anamestris. And you are a horrible state alchemist. Pearl remembering her father Ganondorf, the previous Pearl. Uh, I... I can't unsay it, and I hate it. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a Roman senator. Caesar, are you okay? Are you okay, Caesar? Guys, what if the new Disney movie turns me into a furry? I'm scared. 
Yo, it's already turned me into one. You see that swole-ass tiger on the train? He looks like he'd treat me right and my family would love him. Oh, my God. Bye, all! Jesus can't even save me now. Is this why everyone was after Tony the Tiger? I don't know. But, but god damn. God damn. God damn. Britain is a strange place. We have to boost the power at a certain time to cope with everyone putting the kettle on for a cup of tea. You're joking, right? Wow! No, I'm not. It even has a wiki page. Oh my god. I just realized something. Gurr never washes his fursuit. Please don't call Gurr's costume a fursuit. I will cry. That's what it is, though. Whenever I'm spooked, I play the worst, most meme music. Because I hold the firm belief nothing can kill you if the vibes are strong. If you have fresh prints going on as loud as possible, whatever's haunting you is going to be like, Oh man, I can't kill this. The mood's all wrong now. The ghost crawling out of my television. <laughs> Me turning caramel dancing up to 180 decibels. Vibe check. <laughs> Those people who make a character who's obviously supposed to be optimal waifu and lose their shit when people like them so much. You know who I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it's complete, complete fucking mystery to me. I, that's, that, I, I, what? No. You know what? Fuck therapy. I'm becoming a knight. Pearl Ghost wrote this. Mr. Krabs' daughter? No, The Rock. Dwayne? Hello, boys and girls, or whatever. Jack Sparrow, accepting you for whatever gender you decide to be since 2003. You know, there should be a captain in that tag somewhere. Ah, my apologies. <clears throat> Jack Sparrow, captaining you for whatever captain you captained to captain since captain. Ah, so close. You want motivation? All right, all right. My parrot is up at 6.30 every morning, cursing and denying God. What are you doing in those precious morning hours? Sleeping? Psh, pathetic. Me screenshots things my girlfriend said to me so I can read it later. Me. Yeah, I'm not gay. Dude, no offense. I don't want to go around like a social justice warrior or anything. But if you have, you have a girlfriend, you're straight. That's, that's, just, that's just how it works. <clears throat> I'm a girl. What the fuck? I don't know who needs to hear this, but... <clears throat> Shut the fuck up, you skin tone, chicken bone, Google Chrome, no home, flip phone, disowned, ice cream cone, garden gnome, extra chromosome, metronome, dimodome, genome, full blown, monochrome, student loan, Indiana Jones, Flintstone, hormone, friend zone, Sylvester Stallone, Sierra Leone, auto zone, professionally seen, silver patron, head, ass, the fuck up! The sun is so big and I am so small. You know, contrary to popular belief, it is the reverse. <gasps> Finally, good news the sun versus Pocketo! I just want to say, these two have the same voice actor. Judy, me boy! You've been invited by the King of Bugs, Sing Say, to visit Lake Glow Guy! <laughs> Double depression can be defined as fairly depressed mood that lasts for at least two years and is punctuated by periods of major depression. Tired of your boring old regular depression? Try double depression! Thanks! I hate it! I opened this ugly app to do something, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe. It was to find love. No, actually, it was so I could find this specific image. Where's Garfield's arms? Writing prompt. You can bring dead people to live again. But for every person you bring back, you have to sacrifice one body part. Oh, <laughs> I got this. Me plucks out another hair. The sadistic genie. Okay. I know that technically counts, but I really feel like you're not getting into the spirit of- I ceremonially sacrifice my hair, very seriously. Okay, like one time. Just once. Couldn't it be like a toe or a finger or something? Oh, like how you so graciously go by what people mean, not exactly how they phrase things. Okay, sometimes I- Just resurrect them already! My parrot has a vague understanding of the word no. He knows how to stop doing what he's doing when he hears it. And he knows how to say it. He knows that it's a word that is used when he's doing something he shouldn't be doing. However, being told no doesn't make him stop doing it in the future. If he's ever out of my sight, or if I'm not paying attention, I know exactly when he's doing something bad. Because he says no to himself as he does it. 
Behold, Victorian female medical students. Wow, looks like one of them had a really tough semester. Blood is thicker than water, but maple syrup is thicker than blood. So technically, pancakes are more important than family. Are you Canadian? Seriously, you haven't figured it out? Uh, Freddy Krueger's love child with Abby from Dance Moms? Deadpool's left butt cheek from an alternate universe given human form? Chad from The Bachelor after taking one too many shots? Every before image for proactive merged into a walking acne culture? God, I thought Spider-Man didn't murder people. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! When you find that special someone, an egg engagement ring. Delete your blog. No! Proceed. Today I learned all the clowns do actually get in the car. There's no allusion to it. They just gut the car so it's an empty shell with a motor and controls, beefed up the spring so it doesn't ride too low, and then send in the clowns. I fucking love the way this was worded. Had a dream just now that Macklemore was named Time Magazine's most muggable musician, and he showed up at an interview to accept the award, and they mugged him. What's the point of mugging someone who only has $20 in their pocket? Well, $20 can get you many peanuts. Explain how? Well, you see, money can be exchanged for goods and services. An object in a horror film. Every single character for some fucking reason. I would like to touch it. Oh my god, what if we named animals after the sound they make like in Pokemon? Honey, can you take the bark for a walk? Could you feed the meows? Hey, look at all those moos. Wow, that's one big <laughs> Probably bad RPG idea. Home rule that whenever a PC isn't in a scene, their player must do an idle animation until they are in a scene again. OP, I'm gonna need you to change your URL. I'm a little high, but what if people proposed with beautiful, intricate knives? Ladies would gather around the table and be like, guess what finally happened? And pull this beautiful, intricate dagger out of her purse, and all the other ladies would gasp and congratulate her. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Girl, Zelda is hot. Guy. Pff, actually, his name's Link. Um, no, I'm gay. That dude went and, like, time to humiliate another fake gamer girl and got chemically castrated instead. Love it. Bro, stop chanting in dead languages. You're scaring the hose. I'm summoning the hose, fool. Swallowing glass, but to stay pure. You know, if you put my name and your name together, you get mayonnaise. Also, please, don't swallow glass. Hey, King, take this chucky milk. Hey, uh, where's the... Where's the glass? She needs to relax her shoulders. Her dad died. Okay, um, the tension she's carrying isn't gonna bring her back, so... lol. I had a dream that mentions of magic were banned, so Harry Potter had to be reprinted with wizard replaced by cool guy, and any mention of magic spell replaced with sweet trick. Hmm. The Ministry of Sweet Tricks. You're a cool guy, Harry. One question. Who will stop him? Nobody. Let the boy dance. Wisdom teeth are weird, because my body is like, Hey, I know you're done growing, but would you like some... More teeth? And I'm like, hell no, there's no room. But then the body's still like, More teeth! More teeth! More teeth! More teeth! Oh, there's no room? Well, that's fine. We'll just grow them in fucking sideways. Do you think kids during the Industrial Revolution had the same weird millennial Gen Z experience of having technology change so much while they're growing up? A middle-aged man in the 1890s. Condescendingly explaining what a candle is. Okay, governor. The Great Gatsby's copyright expires January 1st, 2021. And I, for one, am quite looking forward to the inevitable publication of Nick Gatsby fanfiction. Look me in the eye and tell me there's not at least ten people sitting down on a completed manuscript right now. I dare you. Oh, dear. Time to write the greater Gatsby. 2021 is looking pretty bright right now. Me walks into a hospital. I'd like to return myself, nurse, but you can't. I have the receipt. Hands them my birth certificate. Oh, no problem. Come right this way. Wait a second. If I'm asexual and you're asexual... Then who's giving a fuck? Lion paw compared to a human hand. Very big toe beans. Hi, I am deficient in so many minerals and I'm about to do something I'll regret. Thanks, vitamin D deficiency. Now excuse me as I proceed to do the thing I'll regret. It's the final brain cell! <laughs> wow, the Jonas Brothers on the radio, people watching Fruits Basket. It's really 2009 again, huh? Now, 
for the swine flu. Hey guys, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. My favorite bit of black dog folklore is that in some folklore, there is a belief that the first person buried in a cemetery stays there and doesn't cross over and helps other spirits move on and protects them from evil spirits. Now naturally, people want to avoid this fate for their loved ones and themselves. So they would sometimes bury a dog first and it would return in the shape of a big black dog and protect the newly dead from evil spirits and occasionally the living as well. This kind of spirit is called a church grim. Uh, you mean it's called a good doggy? Auntie Mom. You know, it's okay if you don't finish your plate because you're only human and the vast majority of food waste comes from corporations and government organizations throwing it away and not households. Auntie Dad, as long as you live under my roof, we will communicate and negotiate the terms and rules together to make it the most pleasant living experience for the both of us. This, this is the Adams family. That's because the Adams are a healthy family. I'm not like other girls. I don't die when I'm killed. People die if they're killed. That's the way it should be. Yeah, but I, me, I'm not like the other girls. I should have known better than to be mentally ill in high school. Me reading your tarot cards. Okay, I have drawn the Empress, the Queen of Discs, the uh, Jack of Diamonds, Blue Eyes White Dragon, a couple of Swamplands, and Pikachu. I place the Knave of Swords face down in defense mode and end my turn. Imagine getting jumped by a bunch of ants and you hear them say, Take his ass to the microwave! Your partner needs to see you, please help him! Okay, so I was listening to music and I got this message. At first, I assumed that my boyfriend sent the wrong person a message asking for toilet paper. But when I got up to bring him some, I saw his phone on his bed and realized, Please someone message my partner on Tumblr, I'm trapped with no TP and they have their headphones on! Help! He left his phone in the room and only took a switch with him. So all I could do was desperately tweet in SOS. I had to adapt. To fucking survive. The ultimate power move in a vampire fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who invites them into their home, and the fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality. And neither can refuse the appointment without shown weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them. And the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that they would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. You know, eventually they're gonna get hit with the magical equivalent of being snowed in together, right? Is... is that not the point? Enemies to lovers! You know, things could be worse. Your parents could be turned into pigs, you could be forced into slavery at a bathhouse, and your boyfriend could be a river. I get it. I'm sad I wasn't born in the era of- Bitch, do it! If you like love letters, write them. If you like poodle skirts, wear them. Society is imploding as we watch an abject horror. Do whatever you want. Well then, time to buy a guillotine. An older human calls you son. Mm -mm. Dwarf calls you laddie. <laughs> Elven woman calls you love. <laughs> Orc chief calls you cub. <laughs> and goblin calls you friend. 